Hello friends. Today we are going to learn something special. Basically for optics lab experiments we need to set our spectrometer before any observation. So today we are going to learn that part. So in this video first let us learn about the parts of a spectrometer. So this is a spectrometer. Let's look at it from this angle and now let's discuss what are its parts. First of all the major parts we need to know about them is first is collimeter next is prism table and the telescope we place collimeter towards the light and then on prism table we can place our prism or grating and after that in the telescope towards the right hand side we have an eyepiece from where you can observe our spectrum we also have these two knobs how to use them we will learn in a while along with this this is the vernier scale one and just 180 degree opposite to this scale we have one more vernier scale two from this scale we can note down our readings here towards the left hand side we have a slit from where light enters in the collimator and also there are some other attachments like to set the height of this prism table so table lock screw is used to do that table adjust screw is used to label this prism table now let's switch to the main part how to set a spectrometer we have a light source like this sodium lamp we put a box on it and through the slit this yellow light is coming out and now we have this spectrometer in which we can see a slit the width of this slit can be adjusted using this screw now let us place them in such a way that the light coming out of this box go to this collimator through the slit now the step one we need a spirit level to level this spectrometer put this spirit level on the rotating table base and level this generally at the bottom of the spectrometer you get some adjustment screws by rotating those screws you can adjust and level this in the next step which is quite important just turn the telescope and focus it on a distant object and look from the eyepiece you may find a blur image of the object but then use the focus knob and focus on that object now your focus is set at infinity it means the parallel rays are coming to the telescope and converging at the focus now in the third step you can see the yellow light is coming from the collimator and you can see that light through the eyepiece of your telescope this light is not visible but for the representation purpose i have shown it here now you have two things to change first adjust the slit width and use the focus knob so that you get a sharp image of the slit so there could be three possibilities when the slit width is very low in that case you will find the leftmost slit image it will give you a low intensity but high diffraction so that's why you will get a blur image of this on the other hand if you open your slit a little bit you will find a good clear image of the slit and in case of a broader light source the chances of error will increase along with this it will provide a high intensity and may cause multiple unnecessary reflections within the system so that's why the slit shown in the middle is the best one now in the fourth and the final step you need to level the prism table first you can use the table lock screw and raise or lower this prism table and after that for leveling you can use this small table adjust screws to level this you can also do this step after your first step now finally this spectrometer is set for observation just place your experimental object on the prism table and start your experiment last but not the least how to read the scale of a spectrometer for this we have a dedicated video which you can find here at the link on the i mark thanks for watching
please don't forget to like share and subscribe to our channel take care and have a very good day